Hi everybody. My name is Timothy Trespass and I am a targeted individual. Um, here in New York it's freezing cold. Uh, it's like three degrees or something, minus five yesterday. We had a bunch of snow and you know. Uh, anyway, I wanted to talk to you for a minute about medication. I know that there's a lot of people, a lot of targeted people out there who do not take medication, who do not use over-the-counter, under-the-counter, or prescription medications, and that's fine. Good. God bless you. Me, excuse me, I have been through so much trauma, psychological, physical, psychic, trauma and, and torture and abuse that I need medication. I, I, I'm sorry, but it's a fact. And you know, I've had to decide in my life that the dangers of taking these medications uh, have to be less than the benefits given by them. And listen, I'm not one of these people who is going to take uh, uh, huge doses on a regular basis of you know, mind-numbing psychotropics. These people tried to put me on all kinds of crap. And you know, I've been very lucky to know how to behave in certain situations, crisis situations where they're trying to lock you up in the mental hospital, you know, psychiatric uh, evaluation where you're taken to the psychiatric emergency room and all your clothes and personal possessions are removed from you and you're locked in this room and the doctor comes in with some great big hulking uh, nurse guy and ask you, so what seems to be the problem? And, and I've been able to walk out of those things, no problem. Even though, you know, I was so completely upset before. So, you know, I, I'm... Anyway, uh, if you tell the doctors that you have voices in your head, you will be diagnosed as schizophrenic. If you tell the doctors that people are following you and that you're being beamed with electronic weapons or that you have more gallons they're going to tell you that you have delusional parasitosis or uh, schizophrenia, paranoid delusion, uh, paranoid subtype schizo, you know. And listen, at the time, that you're undergoing this treatment by the watchers. You're being covertly drugged. The Morgellons is affecting your brain. And, and, you know, the trauma of the gang stalking. You're on hypnotic, uh, LSD-like drugs and you don't even know it. For years they've been giving this to you. So it'll build up in your system. At least that's what they did to us. And during those times, you can be undergoing some psychiatric emergencies. You know? We just gotta know how to handle ourselves. And those of us who are not gonna be school shooters, you know, who are not gonna kill our wives and children through some fancy mind control trick or satanic whatever, you know, we know. So I, I was left with such trauma and panic attacks that I had to take medication. Medication that is addictive, uh, medication that causes serious withdrawal symptoms, seizures, and uh, you know, I, I didn't want to have to take that crap. But my suffering was so much, I, I couldn't exist. I was in pain, I was suffering so much. And medication allows you to function better 
under extreme emotional disturbance circumstances. Just like pain medication helps you function under extreme pain. These things, in my belief, God gave us to help us get through this crazy life, this messed up place that we're in that could be so wonderful and can be so hellish. Now that that's said, the reason I mentioned this is that uh, frequently when I wake up, uh, I am put into withdrawal. Almost, you know, with withdrawal. Like I haven't had my medication in, in a day, in a half, two days. You know, I'm I'm shaking. I'm. It's it's horrible. It's like, you know, your nerves are jumping out of your skin. You can't sit still. You can't relax. It's it's horrible. And and it's not that my dosing isn't right. You know, this dosing's had. I know how long the half life is. I know about how much is in my body. It, when to take it, how long it takes to wear off. No, this is something they're doing to me electronically. You know, because after a while, after I wake up, a little while after I wake up, I feel better. And it's almost like they're trying to trick me into taking more or something. I don't know. It's horrible. And I was just wondering if anybody else had the same experience of their medication levels being messed with, uh, their physical body sensations and, and uh, the emotional and psychological stuff that follows being messed with, uh, the reaction of the medications being messed with. Anyway, I'm here at my doctor's, I gotta go. Thanks for watching. God bless you all. Keep warm. And, uh, keep strong.